I was listening to the radio today, and I, I, I can't remember who the preacher was, but um, but right before I left the car, he started talking about uh, to live as Christ, to die as gain, and it's interesting because I've 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 been familiar with this verse for a while, but I liked how he expressed it. He made statements like, kind of like, comparing saying, for me to live is money, to die, or to go, I don't know how he said it, I think he said something like, to live is money, to die is to go broke, or something like that, uh, or to live is food, to die is to go hungry, I, something along the lines of, where there's a comparison where someone's whole life is about one thing and for them to die is to lose that one thing. So if, if, if for you to live is, is fame, to die is to lose everything you've ever, you, you know, you're no longer, you're not like really immortalized. Nobody's really immortalized after they become a celebrity. They, for a time, maybe their, their picture might stay up, but pictures fade, so do memories and so does, well, history kind of fades away. In some ways, some history lasts forever, and it will. But it, it just got me thinking about that verse, and and I started I started reading into it. I started reconsidering it, and from what God has done in my life, it it, it really is true. I I can agree. I can faithfully agree with what Paul said. For me to live, it is Christ, and, and to die, it is gain. Meaning to live. I live for Christ. My whole life has been changed, molded, refreshed, and just made new. Not just like old stuff has been fixed and now I'm trying again. It really isn't a green leaf that I flipped over. It really was not me just trying to do better. My parents once said, man, you finally you know, grew up and started making better choices. Like my friends are saying, man, like you really chose a decent path for yourself. Like this path works for you and you know, some others it works for them. It's like, that isn't it. I met God. I actually met Jesus Christ. I asked him to help me and he, he shot me down on my knees with a power I've never felt in my life. He really did manifest himself in the way that I really needed him to. I needed to see that he had more power over me than I had over myself because I always looked for authority. I always tried to be the authority. That's why I didn't listen to other authorities. I had an authority issue. And and I asked God, help me five years ago. And, and I felt the power of God bring me down on my knees and it, 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 it didn't let me get back up. I could not get back up off my knees. I, I just, I was at the altar of this small church and I could not get back up. And that was mind blown. But it was more than just, oh, whoa, cool. It was, it was a very, it was the most powerful thing I've ever experienced in my life until that point. And since then, the power has just continued because I, I, I soon after that made a commitment to God. I turned my life over to him. I surrendered my life into his hands and, and I called on his name, the name of Jesus Christ. I asked him to forgive me. And then later on, I was baptized in the name of Jesus, proving my obedience, that I am going to obey the word of God. I'm going to obey the standard that he set forth. So he made this awesome change. It's it just like, he didn't just change. I feel like he replaced my life. He filled me. He transformed me. And now I have God living through me. It's the most awesome experience. And, and now I'm not living for myself. And it doesn't mean that I don't have selfish thoughts or greedy ideas that sometimes come in mind. Maybe sometimes I, I hesitate to do what God is obviously calling me to do in a moment or in a situation because I'm still lingering and kind of holding on to what I want to accomplish at that moment. That's why I have to pop so many u-turns when i'm driving because i know god is telling me to do something or say something and i sometimes drive past it because out of my own selfishness i just want to do what i'm trying to do and then just it, it eats at me and i gotta pop a u-turn i just feel this incredible freedom like ah oh, i know that i'm doing what god is calling me to do and then i get there and, and and it's just an awesome experience whatever it might be whether it's an interaction experience but but I can't run from God. He, he dwells in me. He fills me. He surrounds me. And even when I make dumb choices, and I, I, don't, I don't make them the same way I used to, but even when I still do, 
there's a conviction that, that continues to, to just erupt in my heart and it fills me and it guides me and it's always bringing me back to confession and back to re, uh, refocusing. And, and it's like, it's not my power that's doing it. I'm not doing this. It's God doing it through me. He's allowing me to experience this awesome life that he's living through me. So for me to live is Christ. I'm not, I'm not like, so I, I don't go to church to see God, I, I have Him in my life. I have Him in my living room. I, I mean, I mean, I pray right there on the on the floor, right before my front door. Like, I, I don't I don't go to church to see God. I go there to to unite with other believers because I really want that fellowship. I really want to be there to be a support to the other people that are with God and those that aren't. I want to be able to reach out and be a testimony if I can. I wanna I wanna see what God wants in my life and and how He can use me and and others. And I want to unite with believers. I want to be there, depending on my my brethren, depending on my uh, on my family in Christ the way I should, and. It's this incredible experience, but I know that to live is Christ for me. And, and it's not because I do good enough. I, I don't think I do. It, it's because I know who's living in me. It, it's Jesus Christ by his own Holy Spirit. It's, it's the awesome power of God dwelling in human flesh now again through every believer. Even though that doesn't glorify me, that just glorifies God because I still have faults that I have to confess often, more often than I wish. Because I wish I'd be a perfect Christian, but I think I think I, I think if anything, we should just aim to be a better and better every day uh, follower of Christ, obeying more fully, more completely, with less hesitation, as much as we can, learning to do that every day more and more, growing in our relationship, and it's amazing because some people to them for them to live is to have money for them to live is to actually be free of some prejudices or to be free of some like bondages like man i'll never have to you know have that anymore because now i got this it's like i used to be there now i'm here it's like their greatest pursuit is themselves so for them to live is to boast about themselves to glorify themselves to die they lose everything that they've done in this life but but for the Christian, and only for the Christian, the faithful Christian, uh, to live is Christ. They are already living in communion with God on this earth. And to die, they go to God. To die is gain. They gain, even though it looks like they lose because they die. It's like, only for the Christian, the only one type of person on this whole planet, in this whole world, that, that gains when they lose is the Christian because they live with Christ on this earth and when they die, they gain Christ. They don't have the limits of this human flesh anymore. They see God for who he is after already living in communion with him, after having a relationship with him on this earth, no matter how long it was, after a faithful conversion of repentance, after turning from their sin and putting their trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of their sins, they finally get to see their father after experiencing his voice, his still small voice in their spirit, after witnessing the things of God in their life, after being able to vocalize those things and voice them, after sensing the spirit of God when they read the word of God, after enjoying the presence of God and, and, and learning to, to fall more and more in love with Jesus and to express that love by obeying God. After all that, when they die, they gain. There's no loss. You lose, you lose temptation when you die. You lose that pest, but you gain Christ. You gain God completely. No barriers, no, no confusion. Right now we're, we're living life like through a, you know, we're looking at it as if it's like through a, a shaded, a, 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 like a shadowy glass. But one day we're going to see him in, in, in clear daylight. We're going to see him in all his glory. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be jaw dropping. And that's, that's, that's the difference. It's like, man, I'm so glad that I have that. And I want others to know that's, that's their value as a Christian. I want non-Christians to be able to reach for that by surrendering and calling on God and seeking God. But it's like, man, for me to live used to be weed. For me to live used to be drug dealing. For me to live used to be girls looking at me. For me to live used to be having that cool outfit and the great tongue rings and showing off my tats. For me to live used to be a whole different story. Now for me to live is Christ Jesus the Lord. And I can't wait to see him. And I'm not in a rush to die. But if you ask me what I want, it's like, I want to be with him. But while I'm here, I want to lead as many people to Christ. 
and I can't do it. God's got to do it through me. He's got to do it. And I don't get to decide which message or which words affect who. All I got to do is seek him, fall in love with him, stay with him, want to be with him. And, and all of this happens by, by his power in me. He's the one that's making me fall in love with him. It's an awesome, awesome blessing. And God's going to do that with everyone if they should just call on his name. So call on the name of Jesus. Because <laughs> until you do, you will lose everything when you die. But once you gain Christ, you will only gain when you die. It will be a gain. It will be like a level up, <laughs> like the ultimate one. So, so gain. Gain Christ. Gain a life that lasts forever, for eternity. You won't miss out. You won't lose by going to Christ.